seven. You get the idea. And then buzz. That sound is electric. For most wrestling fans, that's the best sound in the world. I must admit, I always tuned in, even during my hiatus from wrestling, I still tune in January to watch the Rumble. It's my favorite time of the year. So today we're going to tune in and find out who is my five most probable superstars to win the Rumble and the five that I would love to win the Rumble. So how are we going to do this? Number five, most likely, followed by number five, the one who I would like to win, followed by four, three, two. You guys get the idea. Now, a couple of things to caveat. Number one, I don't think Roman Reigns is losing his championship at the Royal Rumble in the four-way match. And I do think all those guys will be entering the Royal Rumble. There will obviously be some overlap between guys that's probable and guys that I, th I would like to win. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's get straight into it. Number five, the probable pick, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight's charisma still wields enough fan support to support a headline. But a showdown against Roman Reigns isn't that kind of redundant. We've already seen this match. He's already lost. Odds are he won't square off against Roman Reigns if he's going to win the Rumble. He will probably go up against someone like World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. I do think that LA Knight is one of the odds-on favorites, but personally, I don't think that's probable. Number five, my favorite to win, the ones I would like to. Number five is Sami Zayn. I'm still not done with believing that Sami Zayn was the right guy to dethrone Roman Reigns at the Elimination Chamber. Now, is he still quite a main eventer? Probably not, but is there still enough fan support behind Sami to warrant a main event uh, run? I do think so. And if he wins the Rumble, let's all be honest, we would love to see Sami Zayn become WWE Champion at Mania. Number four, most likely, Gunther. Now, let's be real. Plotting a path for Gunther to WrestleMania if he wins the Rumble is difficult seeing that he's the IC Champion, and I don't think he's dropping that before Mania. But WWE has in the past done a dual champion and I think Gunther is one of the most likely guys to become a dual champion. I can definitely get behind Gunther being the IC champion and the WWE champion. What do you guys think? Number four, one of my picks to win is Big E. Now Big E's been out with injury for more than a year but let's all be real. If that countdown hits zero even at number 30 and Big E's music plays we would all cheer and I don't think a main event run against Roman Reigns would be a miss for Big E. Number three, most likely to win, is Cody Rhodes. Now, Cody Rhodes, before a couple of returns that we'll get onto later in this list, would have been at number one. Cody Rhodes is itching to finish his story, but there's a couple of returns that's throwing a bit of a spanner in the works for Cody Rhodes doing this. However, Cody Rhodes is, Cody Rhodes is still getting enough face reactions to warrant him dethroning Roman Reigns and finishing the story finally at WrestleMania. Number three, one of the guys I would like to win is Brock Lesnar. Now this is highly unlikely, but this is fantasy booking after all. Picture Brock Lesnar winning the Rumble and then snubbing the opportunity to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and then instead signing a contract to go one-on-one -on -one with the IC champion Gunther. Couple of things to think about here. Brock Lesnar's never been IC champion and when Brock Lesnar finds a match he really wants to work, he puts on his working boots. And I think Brock Lesnar versus Gunther at Mania, maybe main eventing night one. I think Dave Meltzer might need to sharpen his pencil for a five-star match. Number two, most likely, The Rock. Now, I personally, out of all of these, this is the pick I like the least. Simply because if Rock wins the Rumble and he main events against Roman Reigns, they don't need a championship for this match. This match is laden with storyline. Now, what I do think is if they were to do a title match, we would know the outcome because Rock is not showing up show after show, week after week to defend his championship and bold storylines. So we would know Roman Reigns is going to win. Secondly, I don't think this needs a rumble when there's enough storyline. They can always do Roman Reigns versus, let's say, a Cody Rhodes at night one. He loses the championship. Main event of night two, we've got the tribal warfare, Rock versus Roman Reigns, one-on-one, -on -one, cousin versus cousin. Number two, my pick is, this is a sleeper pick, Solo Sokoa. So, I personally think Solo is ready for a main event run, and I think he's ready to turn against Roman. As of filming this, he hasn't turned against Roman yet, but there's every possibility it's happening soon. Who's working face this match? I'm not sure, but WWE, I'm sure Triple H will be able to write a proper storyline for the two of them. And I do think Solo Sokoa, he's poised for a main event run 
And how better to kick that off than dethroning his cousin at WrestleMania? Number one most likely pick is CM Punk. His return at Survivor Series had a seismic shift on the WWE and wrestling landscape. It overshadowed poor Randy Orton's return, who in my opinion is one of the greats of all time, is in my top three favorites of all time. By the way, I don't have Randy Orton anywhere on this list, simply because I don't think Randy Orton has a clear path for a championship match at WrestleMania. Now CM Punk is the most likely winner of this match, and I do think if and probably when he wins, he's not going to go against Roman Reigns. He's most likely going to go against CM uh, against. Sorry about that. He's most likely going to go against Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship because they've got the built-in storyline already. Now, what do we do with Roman? We can have a number one contenders match. Maybe a Cody Rhodes wins, and Cody Rhodes maybe finally finish the story. Or we can have his tribal warfare with The Rock. But like I said, that doesn't need the championship. I think Cody Rhodes needs to finish the story. Or alternatively, this guy, and this is my number one ultimate dream, Dean Ambrose, John Moxley. Indulge me in pure, unadulterated fantasy booking just for a second. Imagine the Rumble countdown hits zero, the buzzer goes off, and wild thing blares throughout the arena. Who would not jump out of their seat? I know I would. And imagine him winning the Rumble, and imagine him going on to Mania, to defeat Roman Reigns. Wouldn't that just be the absolute match? This is of course my opinion. What's your take on these predictions? Who are your most likely and who are the guys you would like to see win the Royal Rumble? And let me know what you think the full Mania card's going to be. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.